friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kaylee and this is Foodie Friday. So this week I am transitioning from all of the sweet treats that I've been sharing with you guys over the last few weeks back into some of my favorite dinner recipes. So I feel like every time I get on here I'm saying sharing my favorite blank with you guys in terms of recipe, but I truly am sharing all of my favorite Measure Me Whole recipes. For those of you who aren't aware, I created Measure Me Whole about three years ago, and I started out with just an Instagram account at Measure Me Whole. And I would just share nutrition advice as well as wellness tips and my favorite healthy recipes on there. And eventually Measure Me Whole grew enough to where I felt the need to have a blog. So I transferred some of my creative abilities and decided to make a blog and website to share all of my nutrition advice and recipes on there and eventually I decided why not join YouTube share the recipes on there as well so that's what I've been doing but when I first started measuring pole I didn't have a huge following so I shared some really awesome recipes that just haven't gotten a lot of recognition or they've been forgotten about so I decided to go into the measuring pole vault dig some of those recipes up and share them with you guys today. So that's what I'm doing here. So this week is one of my very first recipes that I created. It's Tuscan Chicken Spaghetti Squash Bake. And it is so simple to create. As you all know, I am expecting. So I am 30 weeks pregnant and things are getting big around here. So I get tired so much easier uh, than I used to. And so at the end of a busy day, the last thing I want to do is stand from the stove and come up with a healthy dinner for Brad and I. So I'm sharing my number one go-to recipe that I can create, throw in the oven and not even think about, and that is this casserole recipe. Like I said, it's super simple to whip up and it is Whole30, paleo-friendly, gluten-free, all of those things, so it's covers a lot of bases as usual, but it's also one of those recipes that you can sneak in those veggies for any picky eaters, whether it's your kids or your spouse. Um, it also has lots of healthy protein in it from our chicken, and it's made with just five simple ingredients. So you can whip this recipe up in just 30 minutes. I love to make this casserole in the morning, you know, right when I get up, so then all I have to do when I know Brad is on the way home from work is throw it in the oven. This is great to make the night before and then pop in the oven to heat up. There's so many options with this recipe. And it also is great for meal prepping. I know I talk about meal prep a lot on my Instagram. That's what keeps me on track, even you know, going through pregnancy hungers and all that stuff. So this is perfect for those of you who are um, single and living alone. You can also make this recipe and meal prep it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. So let's get to it. Foodie Friday video, I transition right into the recipe and we get straight to cooking. But I wanted to quickly pause and touch on spaghetti squash because I know a lot of people ask, how do I know what size squash to pick for my family? I have a family of this many people, how do I know? So I actually created a video, it was my very first Foodie Friday video for YouTube, um, so you can check that out here where I discuss all of the different sizes of squashes, how to pick a squash that's perfect for you and your family, and the number of people you plan on feeding food. Now that you know what size spaghetti squash you're gonna be using, we're gonna cook this bad boy. So there's two ways you can cook it. If you've watched the previous video that I referred you to, you can see that I cook my spaghetti squash in the oven. If I have a rather large spaghetti squash, I typically do this, but I have a medium spaghetti squash. It's on the smaller side, so I'm gonna cook it in my microwave. So we're going to poke it with holes all over the exterior. I use a fork for this, and then we're just gonna stick it in our microwave for about 10 minutes until it is completely cooked. You'll know it's cooked when the shell is extremely soft and kind of, um, you can squish it down with your fingers. So typically I'll cook it in the microwave for about 10 minutes, let it cool for an additional 10 minutes because that thing is so hot, and then I'll remove it from my microwave and cut it in half. Typically when cutting my spaghetti squash, I start from the center and just cut my way outward. Um, I cut all the way around the spaghetti squash lengthwise, so it's gonna be kind of like that oblong shape is what you'll want to cut along. And just cut this in half so that way you can divide it in half and scrape out the insides. Now we're going to remove the seeds on our spaghetti squash, so just take a spoon and scoop out those seeds. It should be really easy to remove, so if your seeds are a little difficult or kind of stuck in there, you may need to cook your spaghetti squash more. So just taking your spoon, scooping out that center, leaving as much of the spaghetti squash noodle as possible. 
Now that our seeds are removed, we're going to get the remaining contents out of our spaghetti squash. So taking a fork, you'll just scrape along the inside of the spaghetti squash. There's no special way to do this. Just scrape all of the contents that you can out of there. It should all come out pretty easily and we'll just add these to a large mixing bowl. Now that our squash is ready, we can go ahead and cook our chicken. You can do this um, while your squash is cooking, kind of to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm just adding three large chicken breasts to my Instant Pot, and I'm gonna season this with a special seasoning blend that I made up. It's really easy to remember. It's just one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of dried basil, a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. You won't need all of the seasoning blend for this step. You'll just need two teaspoons of it and then reserve the rest for later. Once you add in your seasoning to your Instant Pot, add a fourth cup of water and allow your chicken to cook for the allotted time that your Instant Pot suggests. Mine only takes 15 minutes, but I know every model can be different, so just keep that in mind. Just to review our ingredients, we have one medium spaghetti squash cooked and shredded. We have three large chicken breast cooked and shredded. We also have our special seasoning blend, which I will add all of the ingredients in the description box below. So if you need a review, you can check it out there. We have three whole eggs. We also have one 16 ounce jar of Julian cut sun-dried tomatoes in oil. Make sure you keep them in oil, that's key. So now that we have everything all ready, it's time to assemble our casserole. So all you need to do is add everything to a large mixing bowl and mix. I typically like to take my chicken, spaghetti squash, and sun-dried tomatoes, give those a good mix, and then I add in my eggs. Once your eggs are well incorporated with the rest of your ingredients, it's time to add our seasoning. So just sprinkle this on top and then give everything another good mix. Once we have everything well mixed together, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it doesn't look the most appetizing, but I promise you it turns out super delicious. We're gonna add all of our ingredients to a large nine by 13 baking dish. And we're going to just with our hands or with a spoon, it doesn't matter, um, go ahead and spread this out evenly. Um, all over your nine by 13 baking dish. Once everything is all spread out, we're going to pop this in the oven at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's hot and bubbly. The casserole has come out of the oven. I allowed it to cool for a few minutes. Perfect timing because Brad has just gotten home from work, so we're gonna sit down and enjoy this meal together. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, as well as subscribe to my channel so you never miss a recipe. As always, I look forward to next week when we get together to cook another nutritious and delicious dish. All right, you guys, see you later.